Hello, friends. This is E. Giuliano. It's the 18th of February. It's a Friday. And we are going to talk about the BTC dump. It's a BTC dump update. And if you want to catch up with what's been going on, just watch some of the previous BTC update videos. And it's a dump update because, well, we are going downward in price. We are overall in a dump, if we consider it a correction as a dump. This whole thing here has been a bit of a, a dump, a sideways dump. Although when we zoom in here, <laughs> this part of the sideways dump is the downward part of the sideways dump. Anyway, enough with that kind of talk. We're here to, to look at this as a flat pattern, not a flat pattern or a flat pattern. And currently we're maintaining some sort of flat pattern here. And we're looking at this C wave here. And if it's a flat pattern, we're looking at some sort of Motive, motive five wave, some sort of impulse, but it could be terminal. Well, overall, it could be an impulse. And then in the fifth wave, which might be happening here, it could be terminal. We'll see. We're going to jump into this chart. Let's load it up, load, load it up from the BTC. Mm, we are going to get BTC most recent levels. Now, What's fascinating to me, wow, is how many times I do that. <laughs> okay. I want to recognize when we go to the weekly time frame, okay. We use the candlesticks. I really want to recognize the power of this, this cloud here now. All right. Um, if you've been watching all along, you know we've been counting this as a one wave, this is a two wave, this as a three wave and this as a four wave. Now, it was getting very interesting on a daily and four hourly time frames, you know, in this region. And um, it did eventually turn out to be um, a, a, a turnaround zone. And this, this cloud here is still resisting here. So looks like we had a sharp move correction Okay, in our four, and now maybe this fifth wave could be some sort of terminal wave that plays within this, this cloud area mostly, and maybe provides wicks. I don't know how low the wicks would go, uh, but you know what I'm saying. And overall play into this region, that's one strong possibility. Okay, and here is the June time frame right here, okay, where we get basically the combination of this plus this equals this here's the one so this is your june time frame where we could play with this now i don't know if if it's going to be there maybe oops let's undo that for a second maybe instead it's this a plus this b if we're going to call it like that um, divided by two and that's over here that's at the end of february so are we going to do a quick dump down and strong move up and be ending of it? That's the ending. And we're getting a very defined W out of there. So that would be the A plus B divided by two. And that's the, the, the around the end of February, beginning of March right there. So which has confluence with with those options. You know, it's just this is just a weekly chart. So very well. Um, could be one final dump and then move up. Uh, but overall, sentimentally, it seems like it'll be more, I don't know, just of a, a grinding chop. However, maybe that's too close to what happened here. And instead, it requires a, a strong move up. Now, that's all if it's a flat pattern, right? Because it needs to be ending somewhere here. If not, if it's not a flat pattern and then therefore not a flat pattern C wave, uh, we might be dealing with, in fact, we might be dealing with the next leg of some pattern uh, beyond a triangle. You know, there, there are other patterns with other names that I'm not going to go into now because I actually don't know enough about them. But uh, there are patterns that exist, you know, that are doable. There are also complex patterns like this. This could be uh, part of a pattern that combines with a bigger pattern, we'll see. But overall, still the most common sentiment at this point is some sort of flat pattern C wave here, okay? 
Although as we jump into, let's say a, a daily perspective, it really, oops, how many times can you do that? It really, um, it, it really becomes difficult to look at it as, um, as a C wave sometimes. And, and it could, you know, it feels more like, wow, this could be a nice zigzag itself right here up to the end of this, this red three. Uh, but, you know, okay, fine, whatever, you know, the, the overall idea is we're going to end either with one bounce here or with a few bounces. That's the, the, the first way of thinking. Okay. And a few ideas, you remember on the weekly, there is, um, there is here, let's, let's allow this view on the weekly. Uh, weeks. There is the cloud, okay. So we could totally get stuff like this where wicks are coming or the closings are here and then, you know, but at that point, if it is ending, we're gonna see a very strong uh, break to the upside and clearing um, the zero to be trend line and we'll be done. Otherwise it'll be combining into something bigger and that's that. So here's the idea, is one idea of this terminal wave the terminal impulse fifth red wave on the daily, we can line it up. So if you've been paying attention, I'm happy to have you here doing that. And I hope this is doing well for you. It's getting very <laughs> nerve wracking around here. Very nerve wracking, interesting um, resistance zone here. But it was nerve wracking in the sense that I'm okay. I don't have to be right or something like that. I don't expect to be right, um, but just in terms of validating or invalidating the overall thought. And, and it's never been 100% clear, which, uh, you know, none of this is an advice and I'm no expert, but um, I've been pretty clear about this move for some time now, it seems like, and, and uh, I've been trying to document that. So I hope that's been going well for you. Um, all right, so in this sense, we could, you know, this this box here is about relationships with price and time, and 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 we can get into that a little bit more. We'll have a bit of time, but already the price now has moved. If we're just going to zoom into this C wave, we have our potential one wave. Although, um, in fact, you know, that even gets complicated because this could be arguably the beginning of the move right here, and not this, and that changes the shape and the the idea of counting it as like a one, two, three, four, five. So. Ah, things get very hairy when you when you try to get specific about them at times. So that's why I've been enjoying using the neo wave logic and the feel of it overall. Now, having said that, um, it can it can work for so long and then fail, and then at that point, it's like, was it worth it at all? Anyway, okay, um, we had this previous zero to two trend line, and it's been broken here in this fourth wave. So let's analyze the fourth wave a bit. I want to recognize that. This Ichimoku cloud here, okay, uh, provides a nice cover for the price to move down. And also, uh, the, you know, especially we, we came down through it, okay, we barely retested it. This is like the real first retest. So the other thing is going from the bottom of the Bollinger Band to the top of the Bollinger Band, and then catching some, uh, catching a breath, right? Don't, not necessarily pumping up right away, but it's like, equalizing the uh, the bounce force and <clears throat> yeah so it, it was a sharp strong upward correction which tells me actually that the momentum does want to re reverse the momentum the price you know the, the price action momentum does want to reverse um, but because look how strong and clean this was now he, so it wants to reverse but it's not done yet it fall you know we can we can consider it like a nice zigzag and I, a couple of things of interest here, you know, just like the idea that uh, that I was saying up here about like where to start and end account and just what account looks like or, or what a wave looks like, you know, uh, this could be considered a zigzag here where it went from here to here so quickly and then did some sort of flat pattern here and then came up all the way here, right? But in fact, it it came up over here. And the look of it where it comes up like this and comes up here, uh, you might wonder where does it end? Does it end here? Is this the zigzag? Or 
does it end here? In which case, what's this, right? Well, maybe this is something that shows up on the daily, but in fact is much more clear on the lower timeframes and shows the, you know, what I'm seeing here is really basically, let's break this down, let's analyze this wave. After this one, two, three, four, five that we're counting down, we had this return. And basically what, what we were seeing is this A, B, and then we were expecting a C. Um, and then whatever else would happen, it could be combined with something else or it just, it is what it is. And, you know, to confirm these types of ideas, let's say you have this, these logics, like, like if this is a, a zigzag, then we wouldn't want a retracement more than, than 68%. So we could take the retracement tool, go from the bottom to the top, which we considered there. Um, reason being the A wave is faster, the B wave is slower. Okay. So it never fully retraced beyond 0.618. So that... That fits, that works fine, you know, wick to wick. We get some sort of B wave here, which looked flat pattern type. And then we get a move up here. Now, what was the relationship between the A and the C from that B? And we see, wow, a nice 161.8. So it was a, a, a strong zigzag, uh, but in, in, in fact, turned out to be a zigzag. And when we look closer, what I was seeing here is it's never fully clear if this is the end of the move, but when, uh, you know, you come up and it starts correcting so much, um, but it came up here and it could have gone higher, could have stayed lower, it stayed lower, which means it was it's really gonna come down hard and break the lows here. So we most likely are done that this fourth wave right here. Okay. Um, so the overall sense is um, the overall sense is it made a very quick A wave, a flat pattern B wave, and then it made an extended type of C wave, a subdivided C wave, where when we go to, let's say for the fourth, uh, for the four hour, you see that it could actually be on this C wave, you could have some sort of one wave and then a two, a three, a four, and then the five here, which failed, which really means it's coming down, right? And it'll break below here. So this is where we also start to talk about uh, trend lines, okay? Why? That's what I mean by, you know, you don't know if it ends here or if it ends here. And the reason that I was, it was tough is because on a four hour, you have this Ichimoku cloud that gives support and you're wondering, okay, if it starts going too high, then you, you start to wonder if it is invalidating and becoming, instead of a, 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 a zigzag here, it could have turned into not a, a three wave move ABC, but a five wave, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're really, you're not in a, a zigzag anymore you're 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 you you've kind of started to invalidate whatever count you were thinking this whole thing is going to be which is fine it could come but anyway instead it became the subdivided thing where you get this one and then it follows in fact the, the one was like maybe even here uh, it doesn't matter but you use trend lines and when it breaks a trend line okay you so really it's like one is here three is here five is here because you break that one uh, and then you find your, your, your two. So this two found a, a break here. So it became a four. Well, I like I, the way I was seeing it on a lower time frame. In fact, see, that's why it gets confusing when you look from higher time frame sometimes. In fact, this was the two, uh, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It break this, you break down. The real important trend line is the, zero to B trend line of this zigzag, right? Of the ABC here, because that's what tells us that in fact, this is the end of the move. So cool. When we look at a real life zigzag, it's like its own organism. Look at the shape of it. It has its own, it is the the the, the thematic pattern of a zigzag and it follows this, some rules and stuff. But at the same time, it's this, um, this, this interesting shape. You know, when you zoom in on it, it's like a fractal, right? You know, or or any type of microscopic thing. You zoom in on it, and you see much more nuance and 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 outline and 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 differentiation and shape and all of that stuff. It's pretty cool. So basically, we're seeing this C wave end here because it starts something new when you get such a strong movement in the opposite direction. Just like this move up, it started something new. You had a B wave, and boom, now it's C wave. Um, so here we get the end of this C wave, and uh, yeah, at that point, it looks like, okay, the important thing in terms of trend lines is the zero to B trend line. You break the zero to B trend line faster than it took to form um, the, the C wave. So the C wave took 
And this is where we'll come back out to the daily just to, to compress it a bit. The C wave, let's say, started here and ended here, right? So if that took this number of candles, we already broke the zero to B trend line in less time. So that means this move is done. Um, it also means uh, once that's the first stage of confirmation, the second is to break this level here where the C wave started in uh, definitely in less time than it took to form. So if we take our time tool uh, and we let's say start here um, and we say it started declining here. So around here or the next day, which is 27, 28 February, which interestingly, um, we already had that date uh, scrutinized, but anyway, okay, so there you go. So in that sense, we will, before that date, we'll be breaking these lows here of 36, three, you know, whatever that is. That's the general idea. The general idea is that this move down here, whatever it will look like, um, it will it will complete before the 28th of February. At least, it'll, sorry, it, yeah, it'll go lower than this, right? And that's the second stage of confirmation. This move is done and we are in whatever we are in next and whatever that's gonna look like. Now, if this is a terminal move, um, then it should in fact be uh, a three, a three, a three, a three, and a three. So we'll watch for that as well. What's that gonna look like? Most likely it'll be some forms of zigzags, triangles, complex, um, you, know, so, you know, something like that. So we would look on lower time frames, and we would see more information, but it doesn't really matter. What we're really looking for is where is the first bounce gonna be? And so in that case, um, it's, a, what can we do? We can take this, third wave and extend it uh, down here. Extend the third wave from the, the beginning of the fifth. And, you know, maybe it's gonna dump down to the 32 level. So here's our box. Like we've had this box here and that's the 78.6 extension. Okay, that's that idea. So this is definitely a, a prime level. It's been a very hopeful support before, but then there's price action that just takes you lower. And uh, the thing is, though, we don't want to go one to one with this, with this, right? We need it to stay uh, smaller. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, maybe that's why, you know, by the end of it, we reach around the 78. You know, we'd pull a reach around this way. Otherwise, yeah, let's let's watch it happen because the other reason is that on the weekly, I, I didn't intend it this way, but if you look at it, uh, you know, like you're at the bottom of the cloud here. So that could probably provide some level of support. And also this level is really key with these levels. So I don't see why it can't bounce there for the first time. And then could still go lower on the next bounce down after getting some rejection or whatever. And uh, yeah, we can, we can see that, we can see what it looks like. We can measure relationships, but I'm not gonna do that now. All I wanted to do was talk about this fourth wave. So it looks like the fourth wave is in. Um, and it looks like we are moving in towards the fifth wave, whatever that's gonna be. Again, maybe it's just one strong move down and then bounce off and go, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what it, that looks like. My guess though is as we work with this cloud here, we come under it and then we can get out of there. We'll see though, that'll be interesting to watch. So stick around if you want some more. Um, yeah, moving into a bit of a negative momentum here, aren't we on the daily? So. Good luck out there. And I don't have much else to say right now. Um, if you want more, put it in the comments. Just tell me you want more updates on the on the dump on the lower time frames. I don't mind if I can manage that. I'll try. But uh, overall, I'm finding that just updating, you know, as we're making turns, because it's following what's expected. If if it weren't following what was anticipated or expected in some sense or, or, or considered, then I would come back with another update. But since this whole move, uh, as it was going in our fa in the favor, and uh, you know it wasn't clear here. There's nothing to say at this point. We're so we're so close to this cloud area, like it's just and 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 the, and the, the the momentum indicators were turning over and showing like reason for and also the trend lines and it was just showing slowdown. Everything was happening that it was like okay, just be patient. Um, 
enough people think it's going to keep going higher that uh, it's time for more bearishness maybe. So yeah, it just, it, it doesn't really require too many updates. And so I guess I'm going to, so far it doesn't. Let's, let's watch. Let's, let's see how this plays out. Um, and I'm excited to do that with you. All right. And then just on a weekly, uh, I want to remind you how, how this cloud comes into play. I'm going to hide this now on the weekly. Okay and see also you know potential bollinger band is down here okay around the 32 level so uh, interesting times uh, in so many ways and we want to turn this into also no and no okay all right and this well clean it up clean it up what was that <laughs> i don't even know anymore Let's get rid of you. We know that, um, that you're done and you, oh, that's the ABC of the bigger ABC. I will keep you, <laughs> you're, you're okay there. All right then folks, I think we are done for now. That is an update for you. I hope you're doing well. And until the next time, I am wishing you lots of love, lots of peace and happiness and uh, goodbye. <laughs>